Hey everybody, okay, we've got a brand new episode of The Ones Who Live, gone. And then here's the episode mission, I Found You. Looks like we're just doing this uh, as a wanna, so it's just Michonne. Oh no, it's Michonne and Rick, okay. I think I know the scene that we're going to be doing. Let's get to it. So we'll check out, the, uh, we'll check out this episode mission and then maybe talk about the episode itself. I've got a few thoughts. That did the trick. Brought it down. Is that supposed to be Natty? Did the trick, it brought it down. Natty was the one who was shooting at the helicopter, so... I don't know. That's strange. Yeah, here we go. So, scout the area. Um, if you say so. Don't know what that exactly involves. Oh, I see. So, we've got Sarah. Sarah? His name is Sarah? What kind of... Okay, all right, fine. I'm, I'm sure that he's supposed to be Natty. He was a great character. Was. What do we got? We've got another one to kill there. This is going to be tough when... This is going to be tough when it's on a hard difficulty. Okay, so... I'm just trying to think, there's, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, so it's just a case of killing a bunch of walkers along with Sarah, and then Rick appears. This is gonna be trickier on a much higher difficulty, but let's see what we can do. I'm thinking we might need to save up some charge points. Um, I don't know, I really wish it was Michonne and Rick, that would be, Handier, I, 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 Sarah was not much of a help. Hey, Io. Oh, we got Travis with us now. Okay. Um. One, two. Let's go here. Definitely blow them up. Ralph, hopefully, will be attacked by that tank. Okay, I think that uh, going after those explosive barrels is a bit of a bit of a good idea. But I don't want to get any closer than we have to, so... They're soon going to be on us. We haven't got any supports or anything like that. We haven't got anything that can slow these guys down. Okay, great. Yeah, while they're occupied, let's do this. Maybe we can set him on fire. No, we can't. I am very, very glad that they are distracted. I'm wondering now, what we'll see is, do we just need to get to a certain point on the map? Okay, I think we've got to, we've probably got to kill all of those guys. This, Maybe I shouldn't have split the team up. I just wanted to see if what happened when I got to, um, yeah, the other side of the map. Now, we might be able to rope-a-dope this tank. It's going to be tough to kill. Go here. Go here. Okay, Michonne's going to be a punching bag for a little bit. Might have to redo this. It's all right, I think it's, it's definitely doable. Whatever, if we if we screw up this one, yeah, that's absolutely fine. We'll just, I think, I think I know what we can do to win. So, so this and, so last, last week's was by far the easiest one, once you knew what to do. Just sort of rush past everything. This one, I think we can do it. You just got to think about it a little bit more carefully, knowing that uh, it doesn't end when you get to a certain point on the map is is convenient to know.
Clara. It's funny, it doesn't look like Clara. Michonne can cause a lot more hurt. She's got that wonderful uh, uh, leadership trait as well. Okay, looks like that tank is now coming for us. I wonder, can we just ice him with a charge attack? Nope. Oof, that was lucky. So there's there's a there's a handy little tip. Blow up the barrels. Let the walkers deal with the other humans. Now I want to save that charge point there that Clara has got. We just take this nice and slowly. We don't have to rush at all. There might be some clever little trick to just instantly winning this like there was last week I, I don't know I can't I can't see what that might be but uh, if there is let everybody know okay I feel a lot better about this we're all fully charged now how about we talk about the episode I've done a little review I've done a minute and a bit review which I don't know maybe that's gonna be a new thing that I, I do quite enjoy doing it um, but also there's a couple of little bits that I didn't put in there that I noticed from the episode. So just going from the start, did anybody notice that the co-producers and director's name were Bert and Bertie? I'm not even kidding. Like that's that's literally what the director's names were, Bert and Bertie. They sound like Muppets. Uh, I don't know if they are. I cannot confirm or deny. But that's weird, right? I'd like to see them. I want to know if they're Muppets. Um, let's see. The convoy that Michonne was with was interesting. I thought that was a nice contrast to the fact that Rick is with the hyper-advanced CRM. Uh, that militaristic, slightly fascist organization. So I thought that was a nice contrast. Uh, Natty was a great character. In a world of miserable and hard-bitten survivalists, an energetic and kind-hearted character is always welcome. So that's what I wrote. I didn't know what would be happening later on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, if you didn't hate the CRM, we heard about what they did. This time, you actually get to see what they did. And it was it was brutal. It was brutal. Some, some interesting characters got killed off. Um, it was harsh. So I, I thought that was really interesting. It's like... We, we kind of saw things from Rick's perspective. We saw things from the inside of the CRM. Maybe we didn't think they were good guys, but we hear about this stuff and you're just like, eh, maybe, maybe that's just the way the world is and you've got to do that kind of stuff. And then you see them, you know, mustard gassing our friends, our heroes. And um, yeah, I, I just thought that was interesting, made for some good scenes. Uh, Danai Guerrero gave a great performance throughout the whole thing. Uh, wouldn't have expected anything less from her, to be fair. But, um, yeah, I mean, she really brought it. She's she's just stepped straight back into the character, just as Andy Lincoln did with Rick. And it was great to see. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. The next big moment, of course, was Natty dying, which was just... I was heartbroken. I actually thought he might be a... A longer term character. I should know better. It's the Walking Dead. I, I thought that was a real shame. I mean, but it, it served its purpose. It just made you hate the CRM more. Added some more desperation. Yeah. Oh, I like that Rick said, don't call them walkers. I call them walkers. You know, uh, that was kind of clever. It's just like, if you're trying to pretend that you don't know me, then you can't really be doing that. Uh, really, really nice little bit of dialogue. Really nice touch. Um, you get the feeling that they're not entirely on the same page. I mean, they have had years apart. Their love seems to be very true. But I don't know if, if Rick and Michonne are really going to have the same objectives as far as the CRM goes. She hates them. She hates the CRM. She wants to take them out. Rick just wants to put them behind him. Uh, 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 really feels like a post-Walker world. There wasn't really an awful lot of problems from the Walkers, um, except for Michonne trying to run through a five-mile-wide horde, which just, like, it was the, it was a really dumb idea. 
I mean, her plan was just stupid. It's like, you're not going to get through the amount of money walkers. I don't care if you have a little gun that fires explosives. Like, you're not getting through there. Um, so, yeah, that was just that was just a thing. Uh, I like that Rick now has a Jada's problem. And it's interesting how one of the most irritating characters, the leader of the Garbage Pail Adults, um, has now become one of the most interesting and powerful. And because they didn't have to set so much up, in this second episode, I actually thought it was better than the first one. Less exposition, more story. They packed so much into it. I personally thought it was great. If you've been watching The Ones Who Live, what were your thoughts? Uh, let me know in the comments. And yeah, only four more episodes. We're a third of the way through. There's six episodes in total. We are a third of the way through this season. Been great so far, but... I think the next episodes are really going to feel like they're going to be moving things forward. And it's going to be great. It's been really good so far. Anyway, there you go. That's the episode mission. That's a little review of the episode itself. Let me know what you thought. And as ever, I'll catch you in the next video.